Hello, this is a Great Outdoors special production. Here in Enterprise, there is a structure fire involving four apartments in the Well Country apartment complex. One is uh, engulfed and the other three are now just uh, suffering smoke damage and some heat and, and fire damage. The Enterprise Fire Department is on the scene and seems to have taken control of the fire almost instantaneously. These guys are really, really doing a great job. For you people that live here in Enterprise, you ought to be proud of your fire department. At approximately 5.30 on Friday evening, uh, we were on our way back from dinner and my co-host and partner Nancy said that she the hair, the hair in the back of her head was sticking up. Something was about to happen. And uh, little did we know, within minutes, we would start hearing the sirens. And within minutes after that, fire trucks and the, the battalion chief or commander came flying by us. So we said, well, I think you're right, Nance. And uh, off we went. So we started following the fire trucks. And when we got to this uh, well country apartment complex, there it was. Flames just flying out the front door. And it was this man's apartment who, uh, who suffered the most damage. Uh, he was really lucky to come out of this alive. The flames were just flying. I just covered the front door area of his apartment. I'd probably say that his apartment has uh, been completely uh, destroyed. Now the other three apartments as you'll see in the video, they have, they've had fire damage up on the roof. Uh, the fire will break through here in a couple minutes and, and they'll have to uh, attack that because the fire is just going through the building in the, in the attic area because the, the heat and, and the amount of intense fire that has been going through that. Look at the front door. That's apartment number 28. Now 28 is the residence where the fire started. You can see the fire department. It doesn't take long for them to run out of oxygen and, and the fight in the fire, the crap that keeps falling out of the ceilings and things. Believe me, you got to give these guys a lot of credit. We did a training film where these guys are learning this stuff, and you'll see that come up in the next few days. Where the temperature nose in that apartment when they make their entry can be up to 1200 degrees. Now that's all toxic smoke, and you never know what's burning in that building and it could very much be something so toxic, caustic that it'll affect you for the rest of your life. You can see here that this is the end apartment and uh, the fire has broken through the roof. I always thought that there was supposed to be a, a fire break in the attic area of these apartments but obviously there may not be one in this building because that's exactly what has taken place here. Now these guys have to go in and they have to rip the ceiling out so that they can get in there and fight the fire that is uh, just eating away at every one of the, the roofs here in this four apartment complex. Now you can see how they fight as a team. They've got two guys that are on the hose, one guy that's kind of watching over their, them, and the fourth one, like the chief and uh, the lieutenant, well they have something in their hands and I'll try to show you exactly what that is. As you can see, when they make make a entry onto the roof, they have to be very careful that the fire hasn't gotten underneath that roof and just eaten away the woods where they would fall through it. And then there's very little hope of them ever ever getting out of that when, when they fall into a direct burning building. And what they'll do, they have a special tool that they knock a hole in the roof and the, and the water and it's hooked up through a hose to that pipe there that you see them putting on the roof and it is sprayed in and, and the fire is knocked down and the ceiling and the roofs are, are cooled down and the fire is extinguished. You can see they have to, it's got a sharp end on it and they have to knock it in through that metal roof. Now I'm, I haven't spoke with the fire department and I don't know whether a metal roof is the best of the roofs to have uh, if you're house catches on fire. Uh, I, I don't know that. You may want to check with the, your local fire department when 
when you're building your house or whatever and see if you know a regular wood roof is better than an aluminum roof a metal roof whereas that uh, it can withstand the heat and and is it safer for the guys to fly now uh, we just added a little bit that isn't really on fire <laughs> we I just thought that we would try some some flames and things and, and get your attention and hopefully you would see that uh, what it's like to actually be a firefighter fighting these fires that are just so deadly well that's Alvine from Great Outdoors Productions saying uh, glad you joined us uh, keep an eye out for us it's www.greatoutdoorsproductions.com God bless We'll see you the next time. Just saying that.